Hey, everybody. This is Jim Grisanzio from the Oracle Groundbreakers team. We're back for some more interviews for the Oracle Groundbreakers India Yatra. And today I'm here with Ankar Jain from India. Ankar, welcome. Welcome to the program. Hey, Jim. Thank you so much for this uh, welcome. And it's been it's a pleasure meeting you. Cool. My, it's actually very nice meeting you too as well. I've, I've reached out to a, a bunch of speakers on the, at the conference. Uh, there's a lot to choose from. There's like 70 or so speakers. Um, but I specifically wanted to meet new people. So I hadn't That's met right. you yet. So we're meeting here for the first time. Um, right. So are you? So you're in India. Where in India are you? Uh, Delhi. Oh, Delhi. Okay. All right. Great. Um, okay. So you're doing a talk at the uh, at the, uh, at the Groundbreakers Yatra in a couple of days. And uh, so let's start off there. What are you going to be talking about? So I'm talking about on the connectivity agent, which is a very important component of Oracle Integration Cloud, right? Which every developer should know, the developer as well as the admin guys, what connectivity agent is, how it is to be used, how it is to be stored, what are the different different methodology you know which we can use you know when we install connectivity agent what are the recommendations constraints how it is to be used and what adapters uh, in which we can use connectivity agent okay so is this mostly directed toward developers or both developers and dbas so basically it is uh, uh, mostly you know used by uh, developers who actually develops the integrations whenever they create our own premises integration they first have to create a they have to install the connectivity agent and without this component they cannot build our uh, integration with the on premise it is because oracle cloud is a oracle cloud offering and si the, since oic is a cloud offering the any public software or the application cannot connect to the on prem application directly right so it is very important to understand how to connect middleware application with the on-prem application if you are using it so connectivity agent is one of the lightweight component which will help or which will solve the problem between oic and the on-prem application okay you mentioned earlier in that you mentioned that developers should know about this tool and you also mentioned in the title of your talk that it's an in-depth talk so what's the complexity level of the tool so, so I will not say this is a tool. This is a part of a tool, which is, you know, the tool name is Oracle Integration Cloud. Connectivity Agent is just a component of Oracle Integration Cloud, which will help developers to, uh, to know how to install it. And if we talk about why, I'm, why I have written in depth, it is because the architecture of this, you know, Connectivity Agent is little, you know, different. We should know how to install it, what network topology we should use it to install it, what are the best practices. If the developers will not use best practices, you know, uh, the integration will fail, the transaction will fail, which will lead, you know, a lot of issues. So it is very important, you know, to understand for developers, even for admin guys, how to monitor the how to monitor the connectivity agent, how to debug if any issue comes, what are the things which we should take care of while developing the integration or, or if we have we if we have integration already developed using connectivity agent what are the debugging level step which we should really know okay cool um, how how did you get involved in OG Yatra is this a talk that you've done in India before so uh, uh, this is my first time actually, you know, I got a lot of, you know, emails and I have seen a lot of notification on the Twitter and I you know since I am Oracle Ace, right? I got a lot of notifications, a lot of emails from a, you know, Oracle Ace community that you can present your paper. So what I have done, I thought that I should submit my paper and then see how the team will respond, right? As soon as I have submitted my paper in a two days or three days, I got selected. I got to know that your paper has been selected and you are going to be a speaker. I just need to acknowledge that email. I acknowledge and then, you know, I have, you know, I started working upon that. Cool. And and so, like, you haven't been involved in Sangam or Oracle Code, uh, no, Bangalore, no. anything like that? Okay. No, no, no. This is my first time, actually. Cool, cool. Mm -hmm. That's really great. Well, maybe next year, hopefully, we'll get, to, actually, we can <laughs> get down there. So, but I was thinking if it, if it is, you know, the physical, I would have traveled there, whether it's India or, you know, other country, I would have traveled there. It was a 
good journey to meet you personally yeah. and others you know the big leaders you know i am you know the younger leader as of now what, what i will say but yes there will be a top most leaders who is going to speak in this particular uh, og yatra yeah i've been in india many many times in the last few years and i was That's so correct. bummed out that you know we couldn't yeah. go this year so i heard last time it was in uh, like in hyderabad or somewhere i don't remember exactly you know one of my colleague you know went there and they spoke on the integration cloud itself right cool okay you also mentioned earlier that you're in the oracle ace program and how long how long have you been an ace so basically 5 months ago in the january 8th of january you know when my daughter daughter born actually you know in the morning itself i got to know through email that you have been honored as a oracle ace associate the the first level of the oracle ace associate because it is because of my blogging the you know the youtubing and then whatever stuff i do in the oracle community due to which i you know honored as a oracle ace uh, associate and after 5 months uh, i hope the 15 days back only you know i was doing lot of steps you know over my blogs i was doing lot of things right and then i got promoted as a oracle ace as well in just 5 months and okay. then there's a one more you know achievement actually you know i do lot of things in the oracle ace commu- oracle community you know i do lot of questions answers and all and i am i you know being featured as a spotlight member of the oracle cloud community cool i mean it sounds like you're really engaged um <laughs> even true. you know um any any tips for other people um because i know i know there's a lot of desire inside of oracle to grow the yes. ace program yes. particularly yes. in india because so in terms of the percentage of all the aces around the world um it's a fairly low percentage in india which is ironic given the number of developers yes. there so i would say that you know everybody you know should engage with their you know with the community you know we should look at you know what how the people are responding over the community what type of questions they are asking we should you know connect to the different different people around the world and we should know you know how should i you know uh, make the things better i should recommend some something i should take recommendation from others we should you know you know read different different blogs we should see the different different uh, you know youtube channels and the main important thing you should be up to date right it is because oracle integration cloud is one of the niche technology and it is updating regularly in every month they are releasing new patches and every day every month they are releasing new patches new functionality on the integration cloud if developers will not know the new you know uh, new features of any tool they will not they will be outdated and this there will be no value in the market so it's better to have up to date make sure you will subscribe the newsletter of oracle so that you can get you know newsletter time to time and then you can see what all people say and what are you know what are the new features is le- releasing in the upcoming months on what are the feature has been released So basically, get involved, get engaged, That's and it. and keep current um, because it. things change very, very quickly. Uh, two things I want to get to: you mentioned YouTube a couple of times. Um, I, you know, a lot of developers are blogging, a lot of developers are on Twitter, um, and a lot of developers are obviously on YouTube, uh, but not all. Um, I actually okay. find that there's there's actually much more room for developers to have their own channels and things. What sorts of things do you do on YouTube? so basically uh, on a youtube i do you know uh, don't much what i do i just create videos let's suppose i am doing one you know poc something like this right i know there is a new thing which i tell you know around the world what i do i just create a uh, you know video around that and upload over the video once our video is published then what i do i take a you know youtube uh, link and then publish over the different different social media platform like linkedin facebook twitter and then other tools as well Interesting. Okay, you've mentioned earlier, like you know, with YouTube and blogging and newsletters and things. These are all ways that developers, or, you know, DBAs can can sort of stay current, educate themselves. Um, okay. How do you? I mean, technology changes so fast, right? And it's it's only the speed at which the technology grows is is really only increasing. So, how do you keep current? And what types of technologies have you been involved with? 
so basically as you know as mentioned that you know as i started my journey with java itself right and then i got as exposure to work upon you know the oracle web center portal right uh, you know when i got exposure to work upon the web center portal you know i heard this first time actually what the web center is right i did you know lot of you know research over the google what web center is what is the web center portal actually actually web center portal is the combination of two words one is web center and then portal right portal is a you know the common thing right whether you know you portal you can find everywhere what i did i did you know lot of research over the google and you know try to implement something and then a day i launched a website on the web center portal itself right and then i you know i got exposure to work with oracle soa technology again the soa was new for me that time you know i hope 6 7 years back i you know i involved in one of the projects soa right and i uh, i got a you know exposure to travel to qatar as well for this you know particular soa project you know i was new you know for this soa then again i did lot of research over the soa how it works what are the complexity involved into this then it's how i you know i have you know done this my journey but yes i have you know worked out on different different technology but all about oracle like uh, oracle soa osb web center portal web center content and then ics oic api pcs vbcs pcs insights is one of the new features of oracle integration cloud again as, as i mentioned that people should you know up to date on the technology right it is because if they will not be up to date they will not know what are the new features that are coming up right and the the world will you know use the new feature and they will go from there itself so it's you know it's you know very important to have to be up to date every day and, and it's also a way for people to understand that because the technology changes so fast that's actually a benefit for new people to get involved Absolutely. because the people who are already established you know if they don't stay up to date they will simply fall behind um but that's your way of getting involved if you're new right um uh, because it is changing so fast it doesn't stay so static so i mean it sounds like you're really engaged down there in india i say down there because i'm a little bit further north um um so is there any specific trends in india among the developer community or among the or 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 the or the various oracle communities there that's interesting to talk about so i have seen that lot of you know people from india you know are you know are oracle as is as well but not lot but yes there are few you know people are there on the oracle is when i you know uh, awarded as a oracle is associate i tried to research over the google how many people are you know in india who are oracle is associate i hope you are very less number but uh, yes i know few people like i i was just checking one of the interview of yours with the, uh, ashish right yeah. uh, you have you know interviewed ashish and he's again a oracle is he's a good guy in that cm so yes i know few people who is you know oracle is associate and a director as well cool all right ankur thank you very much for coming by appreciate it uh, maybe next year we'll see you live Thank you so right. much and for you know for OG Yatra. Um, I'm sure Sai will want to tour 15 cities next year, right? Because uh, <laughs> oh, it keeps because it keeps on growing each year, you know. That's correct. Um, so, all right, great. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you soon. Bye bye Thank now. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye.